uh, New Music Wednesdays. Let's get into our first guest, uh, Raymond T. I'm going to let you take it away. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Uh, you know, he joined us before. Uh, shots going out to Jay Young, MDK, tapping back in with us, man. Um, actually just came off tour with Lotto, man. He was making the rounds with her for the 777 tour. So, um, you know, a little under the weather, man. So thank you for joining us, Jay. You know what I'm saying? I know uh, um, we, we was wondering if he was going to pop in today or not. Oh, uh, you know I was going to pop in. I had to do that. Um, I always appreciate when y'all give me this platform. I'm, um, I've been listening to and been a part of the Digi, Digi Wax and just, you know, knowing what this has been about for years. So just to be a part of this and be able to be on this side of it and, you know, even have the interview or the whatever, which uh, is always a dope thing. I respect everybody on here. So appreciate you for having me. Right on, man. Right. So talk about the tour a little bit, man. How'd it go? Bro, the tour was insane. It was crazy. Um, I mean, it's Lotto. So, you know, you know the type of fan base that she got, um, little young crazy girls. And, um, man, it was it was crazy. We did um, 26, 26 cities in about 30 days. So it was like wow. literally show after show after show. We started in uh, Cali, um, Santa Cruz, San Francisco, Fresno, L.A., San Diego. Then we went up to... Um, to Oregon and Seattle and then made our way through the what is that um Denver Colorado Salt Lake City then um to the south in Texas then the Midwest and the whole east coast then we went to Florida then we ended it um in Atlanta a couple of days ago oh so it got to close out in our hometown hell yeah hell yeah yeah and it was uh it was televised it was dope it was televised by um Amazon Music on Twitch and all that stuff so it was it was live streamed I mean so it was like it was a good look and uh, I'm I'm real appreciative of her, and she she just got a she's on tour with Lizzo now. Like, well, about to be on tour with Lizzo in a couple months. Yeah, seen that, seen that. I think that kicks off like September. So, but I mean, it's super yeah. good look for you, man. So you know what I mean? That's that's dope. Like I said, I know it was a while back that um you actually joined us. So just good to see the progression as always, my man. You know what I'm saying? Um, and apparently for you, the the pandemic didn't slow nothing down. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good thing. <laughs> We kept working. We kept working. So, um, I mean, it's, you know, we all, I'm independent. So, so it's just a, a, a daily grind just to keep going and keep, you know, just keep going hard. For sure. For sure. Are you, um, cause I know before, uh, you still, um, working with, uh, Jamie Foxx. Yeah. Yeah, of course we got a, we actually got, um, I'm gonna have to bring some music, but, uh, some music that me and him got as well. Um, we got this thing called the BSB boys that, that he's going to kick off and, and go launch. So, um, so we got some dope music. We got like 50 records that we did. Wow. Um, I know we ain't gonna release all 50, but I'm I'm a, I'm a you know get them on here and, and let y'all hear it. So at least he can have the confidence to release one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, had to tell him to come on anytime. You know he's always welcome as well, man. You know what I'm saying? So uh, um, absolutely. Any, any more any more uh, acting lined up? Because I know you had a few little net Netflix joints, right? Yeah, um, well, the last Netflix joint that was released was called The App That Sold Christmas, uh, me, yeah. Jackie Long, Emmanuel Nunez, but I have a, a, a short film that I produced and I'm starring in as well um, called Mixed Girl. If, in, if any of y'all in Atlanta um, on the 4th, that's next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, we have a, a, a movie premiere at the Buckhead Theater. So if any of y'all in Atlanta, just uh, DM me, send me your name, and I'll make sure y'all on the list um, for that movie. It's going to be super dope. We got some pretty heavy hitters that's going to come out for that. So, yeah, J at JYoungMDK, just DM me, and I'll definitely put y'all on the list. So I got that, and it's another movie that's going to be um, on Netflix called Lola Part 2. It's um, starring, what's her name? She going to kill me. Anyways, but she's super dope actress. Um, but it's called Lola. It's a boxing movie, so that's coming out as well. Um, in a few months. Fire, man! Fire, good shit. And they're trying shit. to get on another tour. Yeah, There's man. A lot of dope tours coming up. So I'm trying to, you know, I see Chris Brown about to hit the road. I see a lot of people. So we working on the back end to get um on the on the road again. And then I got another record that that I'm about to release real soon. I'll send it to y'all as well with uh, Jacquees. Dope, dope. That's what I was curious about with the tour, just because, I mean, we all know Lotto for being Lotto. How was your sound received on these shows? You know what I'm saying? Just because you come from a little bit more of an R&B side, you know what I mean? Well, rapping R&B, um, but, bro, literally, when I went on, when I went on, I would say about 10% of the people knew me. By the time I went off, it was like 80% of the people. It was crazy. Like, 
following went up um a lot of a lot i mean if you go look at my page you'll see every single night we brought it and um man it was just the perfect tour to be on it really her fan base really rocked with me like they really rocked with me yeah, no, that's dope. I did see the images. Your ass uh, get up nice and up close with the fans and let them rub on. <laughs> no, God, yeah, well, I, I had I had to put some. I had to do something different because you got a lot of. She got the hit records and she twerking, so I had to do something to compete at least to be seen. You know what I mean? So I had to I had to go. You know, I had to give them something special. But um, but man, they showed a lot of love. They showed a lot of love. Like her fan base is is amazing, and um, now uh, a lot of them rock. Not a lot of them, but a good amount um start started rocking with me off the tour. Super dope. I mean, that's what it's about, man. All organic relationships, connections, the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I, I want to get into this song slow motion, and I'm gonna play the video only because I think uh it, it deserves uh some justice. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, so uh... oh and, and and I I directed that video too, bro. Okay, okay, and uh. For my guy Champagne in the house, I think uh, he will approve. So, uh, again, J Young MDK uh, hanging out with good us. Good one. So, <laughs> we go, we gonna run this thing real quick. Hold on. They got to see the video, girl. They got to see the girl. That's what I'm saying. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. I gotta say, a great directorial debut. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, I, I appreciate it. Uh, Chef, I appreciate Chef it. Chef Fade approved. <laughs> Chef Fade, he even popped on camera for us. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely Bro, champagne proof. Pop, pop four bottles on that one, you know? <laughs> <laughs> She's an Amazon, bro. Amazon. Hey, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. one. Like <laughs> <laughs> he said, hey, sit down. Sit down right here. Let me do all the stuff. <laughs> Uh, that's what's so that's a, that's video, a, that, bro. that's the latest uh, latest one you pushing though right now, huh? Yeah, that's the latest one I'm pushing, and um, and the record that I already released, the Who Gonna Win, aka Fat Ass Challenge, that was it. It went off so hard during um during the tour. I'm like, okay, I gotta, I'm gonna have to push that as well. What like was that the, one again? The reaction, the uh, Who Gonna Win? Who Gonna Win? Oh, okay, you you, you, said you had you had a Fat Ass Challenge. Uh... That took it's off called, for you? It's called Fat Ass Challenge. It's called Who Gonna Win and in quotations, Fat Ass Challenge. So every night when I did that record, they went crazy. So I was like, okay, I gotta, like, when I do get off tour, I gotta put a plan together to push this. Like, so yeah, that's okay. on the rap side, club side, strip club side, all that good stuff. Okay. And then, um, okay. And then slow motion is, you know, a, a vibe. Yeah, man. How long you been out just now, Jay? At this in music, yeah, yeah, yeah. probably fifteen years. Fifteen years, okay. If I had to like add it all up from like being young to now, I would say fifteen years. Right I on, went, man. I went through different different eras of this because I w I don't know if you guys remember the Cheddar DVD. You you went back on me, brother. You on mute, Jay? Oh, I'm sorry. I uh, I don't know if you guys remember the Cheddar DVDs. Hell yeah, I remember that. I used to be the host of the Cheddar DVD. I was in high school hosting it when Alby, which was the owner of Cheddar DVD, so I was doing this since then. Like you know, like the DVD era, like the the I was in high school. That was when like Cocaine City was lit, um, Smack was lit, and then you had the Cheddar DVD. So I've been doing. I've been at music just for years, just from different angles. And then I hopped into the film and then behind the scenes on that. But when it comes to actual music, it's been, it's, I've been grinding it out for years, all independent too. And then writing, um, writing for, writing a lot of records. I just co-wrote um, the record for AB and uh, Young Thug on his, uh, on AB's new project. I linked uh, him and Young Thug up to uh, do the record as well. Um, the um, Get In My Bag record. Um, and you'll see the video and all that stuff too. Did the casting on the video. So I'm just one of those people that just like, I love entertainment, period. Like music, I love it from every aspect of it. I don't care if it's in front of the camera, I don't care if it's behind the scenes, on the production side. I just love music and entertainment, period. So Press I always, uh, it's, it's always been something I wanted to do. What, 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 movies have you, uh, what movies have you worked on, man? I know you mentioned the the couple before that were coming up, but just uh, in the past. Um, 
Tupac, All Eyes on Me, I played uh, Hussein Fatal. Um, um, Sleepless with Jamie Foxx um, and T.I. and everybody in that. Um, Music and Murder, which is a TV show. Um, the app that stole Christmas, which we said. What else? You got me brain dead now. Um, oh, it's all good. But yeah, it's 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 been a lot, and a lot of a lot of um a lot of films that Fox is on, I've been you know somehow part of it. And you're still you're still in Atlanta, right, bro? Yeah, I just got back. Um, we got back Saturday. I'm gonna be out here. Um probably for two weeks. No, really about a week, because I know Fox is filming a movie in New Orleans, then he's going to go to L.A. I'm going to go link with him in L.A. for like a week. Then he's going to go to like Ireland and go shoot a movie, and then I'll be going to... I'll stay in L.A. probably for like two weeks, and then I'll either come back here or go to Florida for like a week and then figure out the next, you know, few moves and get to the next thing. Get to the next right, thing. Question. And like I said, if, if anybody, if anybody's in Atlanta this Wednesday coming up, shoot me, shoot me your name so you could come to the movie, uh, the movie screening of the last project I just did. It's gonna be dope. Uh -huh. It's gonna be good networking, good people to talk to, and you know. Uh, DJ Rob, I'm in, I'm in Atlanta right now. I'm an squad DJ. I'm in Atlanta, so I'm gonna get your information. Yes, sir. All right. Hey, AJ, hey, real quick. Uh, first of all, just want to give you a shout out and um, congratulations, man, for you to like pull your weight on your own independently and uh, be in two parts of the media industry, not, not just music, but also being film. And now, you know, you're starting to like really take over on your own, you know, getting on tours, um, you know, producing and, and directing your own videos and sounds like movies are going to be next. Um, my question to you is like, you know, the content is dope, like period and the story and the music, the production, the video um, production, great. How have you been, like, what's been most successful for you when it comes to, like, reaching people, you know, or getting your music broken? Has it been the video and the video promotion? Has it been radio? Has it been the touring? What have you seen the most success from? It haven't been radio because I haven't had, like, no huge radio record. Um, I would say definitely online. Staying in people's face, like, consistently online, just dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. And but effective, like you know, this is my first major tour, like to where I actually toured, and I've seen the difference. Like because they were buying merch, they were taking the Instagram down, they were posting me on their page. It was like hundreds of people at me every single day. So I definitely seen the 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 um the effect of going on an actual tour. Like it, it's it's like you can't beat it, and you're getting a direct customer, not just like someone who like like you like a pick. But this is someone who paid money to be there. They paid to get merch. They they spent probably like a hundred fifty dollars each, or maybe a hundred each, or let's say fifty each. But they're spending money. They're like an actual customer. So that was crazy. Like I, I've seen the difference. Um, but as far as me, I, I would say just online and hand to hand. I've never been afraid. Like I come from the era still of like hand to hand and stuff like i'm used to being a little kid like selling dvds or selling this cd or like you know what i mean so i'm not afraid to be like yo i do music or yo this is that or check me out or you know you you can't be afraid to just still be in people's face yeah that's what i think no nah, that's dope man yeah i just wanted to know about that and i think the other thing that i'm sure a lot of people want to know is like how did you actually get on the tour you know was it something where you had to you know, whatever, but how did that all come I, about? I got on the tour. I was, um, so I'm, I'm pretty cool with, I know everybody from Atlanta. Um, so I, I know Brandon and like Lotto's management. So I was already bugging them, but they didn't give me the yes. Then my other guy, Dre Davis, um, if you guys know Dre, he's been around for like 20 something years. He's the, um, he was, it ended up being a tour manager over it. And me and him, he already was going to put me on tour with, um, he wanted to put me on tour with G Herbo. I was just like, that's not my tour. Like, you know, that ain't my lane. Like, I ain't, I don't feel like having a Draco or something like that to go on tour. You know what I'm saying? Like, every day, like, you know, they from Chicago and they got, they make a different type of music than me. So I don't want to be, I know that crowd wasn't going to be my crowd. They wouldn't be, they might have felt me, but they might not. You know what I mean? So I, I knew that wasn't my lane. 
so um then then it was like another r and b artist that that was coming on tour, and I was like, okay, we'll see then it was lotto, I was like, bro, that gotta happen like that's the perfect demographic because a I got female records, she's a female, but she got that like ratchet turned up, but still like you know she got the young it's like the perfect crowd that like, that's lit, and you could just do your thing so um, the opportunity came and, and they was like, all right. And, and they let her hear um, the record I was telling you about, the Fat Ass Challenge, the Who Gonna Win record. After she heard that record, she was like, yeah, yeah, he could open. So it was like, it was dope. Dope, man. So that was like the ultimate. That, it was a couple different factors, but that was like the, you know, that was the thing. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Yeah, that, at the end of the day, I think part of it is just trying to figure out how these things happen um and where you're getting the most traction from and then doing it over and over man uh all right last question movies producing anything directing anything when are you going to make your debut in the movie Di directing um, your director oh that directorial man directorial I, I that I can't wait to do. It's like, I'm definitely, that's the ultimate. Like, you know, with, with me, it's, music is one thing, acting is one thing, but like, ultimately, I see myself like directing and producing movies and putting the music in it and giving other people up the platform. Cause that's a lot of, I, I have, um, I, I have music and movies as well. Um, the Depth of a Telemarketer, I got two songs in that movie. Um, and that was on, I want to say that was on Netflix or, no, it wasn't Netflix. Um, it's one of the big platforms. It was either Hulu. It was one of those. Um, Jamie Foxx's TV show, um, Dad, Stop Embarrassing Me. I had like three songs on that. On that, so it's like it's so many different ways that we could that we could hustle music. You know what I mean? And and I'll, I'll ultimately like want to be like on that on that wave, like directing things, putting things in movies giving other, other people who don't have the opportunity the chance to do the same, you know, to, to put their music in and let it go through there too. So, um, yeah, but, but back to your question, uh, that my di directorial uh, debut, I don't know, but soon. I'm working on a lot of things. Right now I'm, I'm producing, like, any film that people put me in, um, I'm trying to at least get that production credit as well. Um, I, I love being involved on the behind the scenes, like Young Thug and... Um, and AB, when they did their video, I was like, okay, I did the casting. I got all the girls for it as well. I'm in it. I put them together and they did the record. I, I, you know, gave some bars, everything. I'm just trying to be, I'm like, a, whatever you need, I'm going to try to provide. Like, I could be the shooting guard today. I could be the, the coach. I could be whatever y'all need me to do in the specific situation. I'm just willing to do it, to try to do it, you know, if I can. So oh, that's my whole thing. No, that's that's dope. I mean, I think that's a testament to I mean, we talk about this all the time and this game is a lot about luck and opportunity. You know what I'm saying? But the more work you putting in, the better your luck, the better the opportunities. You know what I'm saying? So luckier uh, you get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's straight up. Man. And, and, I, and, and, and I think I think even furthermore, I like the fact that you knew brand wise G Herbal wasn't going to be a good look for you, because I think, um, you know, everybody's presented opportunities all the time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, that could have that could have not been as impactful, right, as what you saw with Lotto, correct? Right. That's his act. And I love his music. I love his music. It's just certain people that I just know that it don't align with the music I make, so it ain't gonna make sense to that customer. It's like yeah. uh if if someone likes Sprite and then you're trying to sell them Coca Cola, it's gonna be like, you know, it's like, no, nah, I don't like Coca Cola, I like Sprite. So but if they like if they like uh, Coca-Cola, you probably could sell them Pepsi because it's kind of in the same line. It's like competition. It's right there. So that's how I felt like with my, my brand and Lotto. It's a little, it's different, but I know that that fan base would, would be more receptive to me than like a, a fan base where you're talking about shooting the ops. You know what I mean? And I ain't talking about <laughs> shooting the ops. <laughs> so. Hell yeah, nah.